Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just get the game ain't even started yet, but you already shoot. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Capping like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, doggy bone? We back, bro. It feel like a whole, comp a different phase of the Madonna, man. Uh, the six AP squadron of Negroes is here to take over the world, and look at this shit. We gotta deal with, bro. You a demonic? Look, first off, I just missed the pick, so that's strike one against your ass, Ted. Look at Ted. Before we even get into this, you a demonic, musty little nigga. If 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 you had six AP. And said, monster. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, watch how Ted little stank ass right there and just loops around. And we end up making the tackle. And now, I do <clears throat> have a better way to stop monster. But I decide not to do it that way. And do it the way I seen uh, Joker Kale do it on stream. He just came down with the safety. And he just shot the gap. You know what I'm saying? But the only problem with me is I be going for his stick and, and fucking strip fumbles for no reason. So I'm going to give up the big play. But it is what it is. It's made, man. I'm not really tripping. I did. I was about to quit to keep it a buck. I'm, I'm not, not even no bullshit. I was about to quit the game. I was about, he could have this shit. Monster and May? No, thank you. But then I'm like, fluff, man. I got. I had a lot to do today. Then I had to schedule uh, to get my hair retwisted, which is, uh, if you're watching this video, I'm probably actually getting it retwisted right now. But yeah, then he comes out in 6-1. I'm like, yo, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Let me know if you played Mutt today. The sweats was out, bro. I don't, like, I. that's what made it feel like it was August Mutt, bro. Nigga, the sweats was out here on the Madonna, Madonna, man. They was on the Madonna, Madonna. And I'm I'm sitting there like, yo, why the fuck is everybody on the game right now, bro? Like, I got, I, man, I got some fire game. I, especially tomorrow's gameplay. I got some shit for y'all as we get cheated right there. And you know that's not uh, a good sign of things to come. But yeah, bro, the sweats was out. It was, it was, it was some sweaty man being played today, boy, and I was not for it. Y'all, let me know how y'all feeling about the six AP to keep it a buck. The biggest difference to me, <clears throat> what the fuck happened to my voice? The biggest difference to me with the uh, with the AP change was O line play. Like, I, I had figured out how to stabilize my O-line, but, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of easy because it was so much free AP as I pressed the wrong button. I meant to lob that up because I had to I had to mismatch right here. I had Ted on him manned up, and then he was going here, and I when they, when they cross-modulated, you know what I'm saying, that shit threw me all off. I was supposed to just throw a lob pass here. Because I got to step on uh, Teddy Hen. And my ass just threw a book of Roni because I, got, I, got, I started looking at the pressure. And it ended up going for six. So I was crying and shit. doo doo on myself a little bit. It was wild. Uh, that's the new middle linebacker, Carmichael Carr. I haven't heard nothing good about him, though. Y'all let me know if y'all got him. But, yeah, the O-line play was uh, inconsistent, even though I have secure. So I made some O-line changes. Not any AP changes because defensively I felt I felt decent on defense. You know what I'm saying? I felt good on defense. I got stops. Um, we played well. I, I was able to move the ball well because, I mean, outside of my old line play, nothing pretty much changed on my offense. I grabbed CD instead of Jerry Rice so I could have two, uh, dub, uh, two zero AP receivers on my team, which is uh, – Randy Moss and CD Lamb, but outside of that, the offense didn't really change. You know what I'm saying? The biggest uh the biggest change to people was gonna be 
defense. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you'll see, I play some of the nastiest Madden players, bro, in, in this video. I'm giving you two vids. And it's some shit that I did not think I would see with the new AP setup. I did not expect to run into Monster and then the shit that you're going to see after this gameplay, bro. It was it was, it was was mustiness all through the community, bro. Like, like and, and if you played, you know, some setups, I was just looking like, bro, this what you chose to do with your 6 AP? And a lot of people been crying and whining, man. It ain't nothing going to change. People going to have... Look, bro, a lot going to change, man. How about you just shut up? Like, you're not going to be able to run a shit ton of AP regardless of how you put it. Because the players that everybody's going to be going to to try to kind of throw all this multiple AP on, as that was a terrible uh, rack animation, is only Ring of Honor and get the Game Changers promo. And there's one more promo that gave you the double uh, zero AP. I forgot the other one. But you 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 get caught off you get cut off on the line you know what I'm saying uh I I like honestly your defense is what takes the biggest hit for real for real because you can't afford to go multiple um knockouts and shades and things of that nature because a lot of y'all who've been in my DM and in my comments crying don't really realize when they give you those zero AP boxes. All of the best abilities were in those zero AP boxes. So it like you so you had to pick between a pick artist and a knockout, a pick artist and a shade, and then you can get a knockout and etc. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it did it did change how people built up they uh they team, especially defensively. So you'll see a huge change on the defensive side of how people uh, play defense. I, I feel like you should be more aggressive. Like a lot of people told me, they they they're a little bit more passive. But my thing is, being passive probably is gonna hurt you a little bit more because you don't have the mid zones and all the knockouts that you had previously stacked on top with the pick artists and uh in the shades and etc. So for me, my shit was blitz them until they die, and then blitz them some more. You know what I'm saying? And as we score a touchdown right here, this is this is low key the biggest point, right? That so I know so right here I'm looking to go um, in the seams until I motion him across. When I motion Gronk up, across, I notice he jumps inside. So immediately when he jumps inside, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hit him with a little out route. He does he has pick artists here, but he does not have a knockout. Like, usually, on these outside guys, what you got? A pick artist, a deep route KO, and a sh or a short route, or a short route, or a flat zone. So, this like, these outside guys are some of the guys you're going to have to make that sacrifice on. I know he don't have a KO in the, uh right here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run this out route. I'm going to throw that shit. I'm going to catch it because of, in, in uh, Madden a week ago, that was a knockout. But now, you know what I'm saying, that's a viable throw because you got to kind of make sacrifices, pick and choose what battles you're going to try to win, and then, you know what I'm saying, make up for the rest with good user and what I feel like it should be pressure. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> we end up scoring a tug right there, and then the game takes a, like, super creepy, weird-ass turn coming up. But um, <clears throat> y'all let me know, what, what like, what, what what's y'all answer to – how y'all been playing as we was finna ring dog ass up for real. I, I, I've been blitzing a little bit more, to be honest with you. I played against one dude. His name was Bunch. I was like, yo, you a, you a desperate nigga to be named Bunch. And right here he goes from monster to double stack, which gave me nothing but nightmares, bro, as we end up getting pressure there. Because I'm like, like, look, I, and I've been, I've been honest with y'all. These formations give me nightmares. As you see, the knockout don't animate. And I had to take the deep zone KO off of uh, my deep safety, who's just pick artist. So he probably could have got that knockout. Right here, both my guys commit to the safety. Nobody plays underneath. Like, the, this formation and, and monster, I usually quit around this time of the year. Earlier, I play them, sweat them. Try to get my dubs. This year, hell, at this time, hell no, nah, bro. 
Because Madden ain't this damn serious for you to be running these, man. If you run these, you're going to the devil. Just so you know, you're going to the devil. But, uh, yeah, so the, I'm not going to really say the sacrifices I made because people be using the shit I say against me when they play against me. And I really don't want to deal with that, to be honest with y'all. Y'all some dirty people, for real, in real life. And uh, the devil won't company, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be y'all souls that accompany him because how y'all treat me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, as you can see, I throw the out again because he don't really have knockouts. I think his shit was pick artists and he might have had, and I think he had like shades, but he didn't have any knockouts on the field. I think his deep safety had like a deep zone KO, but outside of that, as the ball hits me in my hand, you notice he he never lights up wide receiver, uh, I mean, cornerback secondary wise. And then if you run in that Carmichael linebacker card, I feel like that card is a complete waste of AP as I hit him with the angle route of depth. And right, and, and, and I'm going to keep it a buck, he ends up quitting right here because I think he realized, yo, dog didn't figure something out with this angle route of depth right here. And he just kind of got to beating himself up like, how am going to defend everything that he's doing? He's so great and he wild sexy, so... I'm going to just go ahead and quit out the game. And, and that's and then that's what Dog did, which was completely understandable to me. He ended up quitting out because I was wild sexy and he didn't and he didn't really think it was much he could do with me. So now we move on to the second game. At the end of this video, I'm going to be taking y'all through my new uh, AP setup with Frico Suave. Trifling nigga, I tell you, boy. So y'all finna see it, bro. Look at this nigga. Look at this disgusting individual, bro. Six AP. He's running two AP on his running back. He is running evasive, tank, and phenom for two AP. One AP here. Then he got the CD Lamb and the Randy Moss, who are zero AP guys. So, you know what I'm saying? That's actually a good setup. And then Gronk, he just running shit, but short in. Uh, no, yeah, short in on Gronk. All his AP is right here, bro. I said, you a nasty lud. You a disgusting dude for this, bro. And then, as I played more games, I realized a lot of y'all got this trifling mentality. It ain't just him. A lot of y'all funky. Like, y'all really out here, bro. Rocking, uh, like, on, on my mama. I played about eight, nine games today. Seven of those games, people were rocking mad AKAs, bro. Like I thought, I thought this a this different AC, AP setup would minimize. Um, as I'm going to look at his AP setup because I can't believe what dog out here doing. I thought it would minimize people running AKAs, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Like as you can see, oh shit, damn! I got to go back three times. All right, but here we go. As you can see. Dog guy Aaron Rodgers. So he's rocking. This is 2 AP. This is a good setup. This is why everybody's rocking Rodgers. 2 AP on Flash. He got the free Moss and Calvin. The Liney Walker. And after that, it's just a whole bunch of shorty and elites that you get for free. His AP setup full of the bullshit for real. And I was like, yo, why is you doing this, bro? With, with minimum AP. Like, you don't have a lot of, uh, we don't got a lot of it. So, the waste, the, the spin three on two prelits is crazy. And that's when I realized a lot of y'all really, really suck at this game. <clears throat> it took me a while to, to come to grips with it, but y'all suck at this game, bro. To the point that these shits have become commonplace. Like, y'all need it. It's drugs. AKAs is drugs. AKAs is uh, crack in, in y'all the 1980s. Best way to put it, bro. AKAs is the crack cocaine, man, and y'all boys is the 1980s. They out here running amok on y'all. Shit, running up. Because the thing that make it so bad is like, you really sacrifice at half of your AP for five plays, bro. Because if you, because the, the truth of the matter, if you don't score within those five plays, you're probably going to turn the ball over. 
know what I'm saying? Because 90% of y'all, once them prelits go away for them little five plays, y'all ass be lost. Y'all don't know where to go with the ball. You don't, like, right here, he throwing right at, look at that shit. Charles Wilson, you got to start knocking shit out or I'm going to knock you out for real. I might go get Bayard the way he playing. But, yeah, it, it, it's just weird, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I don't really know. That's, like, really bad pursuit angles also. The, the I, I, I really did not enjoy Madden today because I didn't get to play a lot of bums. I played sweats, boy. And they was out here doing sweaty shit, like trying to win the game. AKAs, Monster, Bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was out here... Then I play the, the video that y'all gonna get tomorrow is against a Zan clone, and this nigga was the zaniest clone of them all, bro. Like it, it, it's 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 it, it's a wild time on the Madonna. So if you ain't that good, man, just steer clear and let let the dust settle, bro, for for a second. You know what I'm saying? Go do your challenges, <laughs> do some solos and all that, bro. But. Uh, hopefully y'all stay out of this all Madden uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going down at all pro. Y'all let me know. But this this all Madonna, they out here going zerk, my boy. They sweating. You would think the MCS had restarted back up the way these boys is out here playing, man. I thought we was I thought we was gonna get a little commonplace Madden. We would all have a good time, maybe some prayer. After the games was done. Nope. Full on demonic Madden was going on. Look at how he playing, bro. This is backed off coverage. Look, look, look at this shit, bro. At, like everything is on his corners. This nigga is crazy. Safety's got nothing but the free acros, right? Oh, his three corners in which he played like the press man with, that's where all his AP at, bro. Look at this. One step deep route. Inside pick artist deep. Uh, like, come on, bro. And then the little one that he probably had one extra AP. He put it on Curious George, but put him at D tackle. Instead of putting him on the edge. So he going to get bagged the hell up and beat the hell up. Look. Look, one, two, three, ding, 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 ding. They, they whoop him. They was just whooping his ass, bro. John Madden got him down for the three count. So, like, some of y'all need help with y'all. We're, like, putting together y'all AP for real. Because some of y'all's AP was put together disturbingly bad. Like, there's no way uh, Curious George should be playing on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Because you want a user, yo, D lineman, uh, Lawrence Taylor, he ain't finna lurk shit. Get through it, punk. Nah, nah, nah. He ain't lighting up. Nah, you ain't finna get no pressure. I'm finna beat you by fifty. All right, whatever then. Thought I was finna beat dog by fifty million after that, but it's been, it's been a it's been a wild wild day. Of Madden, bro. Like y'all, like I, I've realized that, like y'all really, really don't want to be good at Madden, though. Like Madden is probably like the ultimate shortcut game for real. Outside, like unless you like a pro player, it's the ultimate shortcut game. You know what I'm saying? And and this proves it, bro, because everybody is still running a uh, AKAs. One dude told me this. He said. Well, you got to think about it, bro. Why wouldn't I run AKAs? Ain't nobody going to have no secure tacklers. I said, ugh. Boy, that's what's going on in your mind right now? Not how can I maximize my offense to make it efficient and be able to put up points. This stank little dude told me, ain't, gonna, ain't nobody going to be rocking secures. Everybody just going to be rocking knockouts and KOs. And you know what he was running. He was running quad fiber. And I the hell out of him. He was running quad fiber with persistent and the other one. So he's running two AP on quad fiber, bro. 
And then he was running a lineman who got nasty streaks, and he had honorary lineman. He was he was cooking up some freaky shit, man. And he and he and the, and the wildest part about dog, I ended up blocking him because I, I don't need that type of negativity in my life. He never gave me his gamer tag, bro, so I could look out for this nigga and avoid him. He never gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? So he on he on some uh, he got some shit planned for me, bro. He got some shit. Let's be right, dog. Yeah. He got some shit planned for me. And whenever we uh, and if you I know you watching this video, whenever we uh link up, I'm to the dashboard, my boy. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. You ain't gotta worry about running none of that on me. I don't scrape to the dashboard. Ain't no, ooh, this would be good content. None of that. EA Sports. Send a game. Loading back up. <clears throat> and then if we match up again, guess what? I'm t Nigga, you'll win a whole, you'll do a whole undefeated Super Bowl against me if we keep matching up. That's how many times I'm hitting the dashboard. <clears throat> I'll get demoted behind not having to play you. That's how I'm serious I am at, at May Madden, bro. This is it, May Madden is for good times and and enjoying the community and, and having fun, bro. All you eight, uh, six AP AKA dudes, beat it. For real, man. Choke yourself till you uh feel a bit of unconsciousness and then keep. I ain't gonna say yeah, keep going. Cause it's it's na it's, it's nasty work out here, dog. Messaging me about my QB draw, talking about my QB draw is corny. Like, bro, you out here with multiple AKAs. Half your all your AP is on your quarterback and your AKAs, but you talking about me running QB draw nasty work? <clears throat> Now I know a lot of y'all like and you know what I'm saying his old line his D line trash because those ain't like pass uh, get to the QB abilities those are just run stopper abilities that he has on him which made me happy because it meant I can run my QB draw that's one thing about this little six AP setup my my QB draw gonna stick gonna be hella deadly still so I really would suggest to the to the vast majority of y'all that you really really uh, get in the lab defensively and, and get to figuring it out, man. For real, because y'all ass going to be in super duper trouble. Like, if you out here just playing base coverage, man, you're never getting a stop. Ever. Unless a nigga fumble 46 times in one game. You're never, no, you're not going to stop anyone, sir. So y'all boys better figure it out. Go buy y'all. You ain't even got to buy my ebook. Go buy a ebook. You ain't got to get book a lab session with me. Just go book a lab session. Go do something that will contribute towards y'all getting an understanding about this Madden, bro. It is not a joke, bro. They gonna be whooping the hell out of y'all. I seen it firsthand, bro. The people who the people who know how to play, they've been doing their thing still. I've been in Twitch streams, seeing people go at it. They still knowing. Again, this is him right here talking about uh, corny as fuck. But whatever, you got AKAs, and he stopped. He laughed when I said that. Like, how I'm corny, but you still out here running AKAs. So that's my that's the only advice I'm really giving to y'all because I low key like if you are running AKAs still. There's a there's an extreme amount of disdain that I have for you as a as a person. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't even care what you do for real. I want you to lose 56 games in a row. Like I want you to be so upset and distraught that you don't want to play mad no more. I want all these bad things in life for you. You know what I'm saying? If we be honest, I want the the worst things in life to happen to you and only you. Until you, until y'all get off this AKA shit, this is this is my these is my wishes, these is my dreams, these is my hopes for y'all that y'all suffer. You know what I'm saying? And go through these type of uh, trials and tribulations. That's where I miss my deep deep out zone KO right there because I would have knocked that out. I'm thinking 
that maybe I get rid of him and, and bring in somebody who gets a free deep out zone KO. But it's like, I don't think I can run a nine pick artist at safety, bro. I don't think I can. Because the animations is not going to be there. Like, he not, I, that's what I need. Like, cool, niggas going to cut catch a couple more posts on me and whatnot. But if you throw at him, he going to go up and grab the ball from out the sky. He going to snatch them shits out the heavens. And then every now and again, if I, if I can get there and spam RB, Maybe I get a knockout, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't, but um, these these KOs and these pick artists is, is what's going to keep Uncle Float, you know what I'm saying, in this time. Stupid as we go ahead and dummy. That's a pick artist. Go ahead and lock dog up one more time. He ends up quitting out the game, and we end up being victorious, man. So I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and let's head on over here and check out the AP. All right, y'all, we back, man. Let's let's get a quick recap of the AP, man. Of course, now that it's final, I can show y'all free Randy Momo. Um, I, I picked up the new Quentin Williams because he gets Threat Detector for free. You know what I'm saying? So I got Threat Detector free and secure for one AP. That's the only AP I'm spending on my line. Secure Protector at right tackle. Of course, we spending three AP on the guy stack for Tebow. I'm running John Madden at center with that zero AP secure, um, one AP on Megatron, a zero AP identifier at right guard, of course, CD for zero, uh, short end out combo with Gronk for one, short end uh, for free, then uh, on my running back, uh, Nasty Streak post up for zero AP on my left guard, and then an honorary lineman that I just got activated because the nigga free. Like, why wouldn't I activate him? So that's the six AP that I'm running on my squad. You feel me? And let's head on, on offense. Let's head over to defense where it, where it's a bit tougher to keep it above. So we running one AP deep zone knockout and pick artist on Charles Woodson. I'm run look, Ted made a shit ton of plays. He was almost out of here. But I'm running pick artists and lurker for one on him. You know what I'm saying? But he made a ton of plays. Zero AP pick artists on Justin Simmons. I wish I could put deep zone knockout, but I don't have any other free AP. Uh double enough and no outsiders on Reggie White. I'm running flat zone pick artists on Palomalo Lala. He made some really good plays for us today. Uh, inside stuff on John Madden, just in case people aren't running secures at that center position, my boy John Madden gonna feast. Um, I'm probably about to get rid of this, uh, Max Crosby because he, he honestly doesn't play for me. Pick artist on, I'm probably gonna be running pick artist crusher on, actually no, cause I don't got no more game changer choking. So pick artist on Ryan Neal. Then I am running mid zone, deep deep out zone pick artist for one on Deion Sanders. I picked up this new Devontae Adams because he got a zero AP inside shade. And what does it hurt to have extra zero P abilities? Zero AP abilities. Two AP on Rob Martin because I'm running Lurker, pick artist flat zone for him. Uh, he doesn't play, but zero AP. Zero AP pick artist. I mean, yeah, pick artist. Zero AP pick artist. Zero AP double or nothing. He does play for me. And then another the zero AP lurker. You know what I'm saying? So that's the abilities on defense. A, a lot of them don't play for me, but you just want to have that zero AP available in case you do want to make a switch. You got it activated. So let me know what y'all boys doing with y'all six AP. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm going to see y'all with another banger tomorrow. Peace.